Good day everyone, Garage King here and on today's episode I have a nice review to do for you. So what I have is the Elite Engineering E2X Ultra Catch Can. This thing is a beast, it is absolutely massive. Let me pull it out of the box and show you what it looks like. So it is just huge. And we're going to take a really close look at it because a lot of people always ask me what's inside a catch can, how does it, you know, work and you know, there's nothing like just showing you with the camera and doing a nice close up. So we're going to do that. So, all right, so let's take a closer look. So we can see these things actually come painted. It's nice. The only thing about paint is I find it's just not as durable as, uh, as anodizing. But anyway, you can't have it all, right? You can't have it all. So here's a good view of the top. You can see there's the three ports, like I said, one quarter, one quarter, three eighths. NPT threads. There's your drain on the bottom. Let's take it apart and see uh, what we find inside. So there's the bottom taken off and that's what it looks like when you take the bottom off. That's it. So let's take the top off if I can. There we go. It's kind of tight. And that's actually what the catch can looks like. So this piece is just a hollow piece of steel. So that's just, or well, not steel, but well, I guess it is steel, <laughs> aluminum. So there's your, your aluminum, nice, nicely painted. It is. Okay, so here's the guts of the unit. So dirty air comes in through the top. It'll go through this uh, tube here. This is a hollow tube, okay. Goes into here where it should hopefully separate. Come out through the bottom. You can see these three holes. So it comes out through the bottom. Then with these two here, it gets sucked back up around here and around here. So these are sort of like baffles because what, what happens is they actually fit quite tight uh, in there. So they force the air to sort of, I guess, swirl around and that's supposed to separate more oil. So it's a handmade unit. It's made in the USA. Here's your drain valve. You can see uh, there's the end. I don't know, I'll zoom in. I don't know if you can open, see me opening and closing it, but anyway, there's a drain valve, not a big deal. So that's the center, that's how it works. It goes inside here and we're gonna see how well it works. Now, the actual build quality I think is really good. I'm hoping that this is sealed enough here. There's a little bit of a gap there, so that should be sealed. But the, the way the air comes in and everything, I don't think there should be a problem with that. Anyway, I'm gonna test it and I'm gonna see how, how well it actually works. So let's put it together and measure it because this thing is just, it's huge. This thing is really, really big, so let's, Put it back together, so we're just gonna, where are we here? There we go. So there's a top back on, let's put the bottom. All right, so it's six inches. And it is approximately four inches across uh, in diameter. Now keep in mind, this part here extends out, the drain extends out pretty much almost two inches, one and three quarter inches. So once you put your fittings on top of this can and your fittings, uh, you know, might come out two inches, you might have a can that's 11 inches long or something like that. So it's, uh, it's gonna take up a fair amount of size. Now the good thing is with size, uh, you're definitely gonna get a lot of oil separation because a bigger can generally functions better. So that's good. I wanted to do a quick unboxing of this can. Really didn't wanna waste anyone's time or talk about it too much. I just wanted to show everyone what's inside uh, because a lot of people always wanna know what's inside the catch can and you don't get a really good view of, of what's in the catch can. Now the top and the bottom, I should say, is billet aluminum and the machining is fine on it. No issues there whatsoever. It's a very well built catch can made in the USA. And what else can I say? Okay, so that concludes the quick unboxing of it. Didn't want to make a long video, didn't want to waste anybody's time, just want to do a really, really, really quick unboxing of this catch can. Now, is this catch can actually worth it? Well, you know what? I think it probably is because I don't think there's anything on the market right now in its class, in its size. Uh, you have to remember uh, a catch can of this size can take a lot of volume as well. So depending, especially if you have a, a big boosted application or a performance application where you're going to have a lot of flow, uh, more blow by, you're going to want a bigger catch can. I just don't think there's anything on the market right now that competes with it. So they're sort of in a niche all by themselves because most of the catch cans that I see are quite small uh, or when they get bigger, they're like a big box and they're really hard to install. So this one, I think 
is really, really good. Now, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna test it on my Tacoma. I'm actually gonna do a back-to-back -back test with the Mighty Mouse uh, with the new Super Center in it, and I'm gonna test it with this one. So I'm gonna run both in series, run them for a few thousand kilometers, and I'm gonna flip them around. Same thing, same conditions, gonna run them again, then I'm gonna drain them and see which one performs better. So anyway, that's it for the video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comments, anything like that, let me know, Garage King, over and out. Catch you on the next one.